Need the phone to ring. I need something quite urgently. Get in! This is one. You ready? But I gotta write this guy's number down before I forget it. That was a disaster. Twenty-four hour no money down challenge. So what you're telling me is I've got to get a deal in the next 24 hours. No money down property investing. What is it? It's where you can build a multi-million pound property business using literally none of your own money. Now that might sound crazy to you, but it's exactly what I've done to build a multi-million pound property business and what many other people in this country have done too. You just need to have the knowledge to know how to do it and that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do. So I just got to get a deal for no money down in 24 hours, like a lease option, a rent to rent. Hang on a second. It's 6.30 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. So I don't have 24 hours, because how am I going to get a yes at 2 a.m.? That's your problem, Kevin. So agents close at 5.30, so I've got 11 hours plus whatever I can do this evening after the agents close. And the clock started at 6 a.m. this morning, Kevin. I've got to get to my area. I've got about an hour to get there. Should be there before the agents open around 9 o'clock. I mean, I'm the nominee down guy. I can do this. I can get a deal done by the end of the day. I'm very confident. One thing before we start, you've got some rules. Okay. No contacts, no gold mine area. So I'm not going to my area and I'm not allowed to use any money whatsoever. Yep, has to be no money down. If I'm not going to my area, where are we going? So we are going to Norwich. Where the f***'s Norwich? <laughs> putting together a plan so I'm, I'm just taking down the phone numbers of all the estate agents so I've got, I've got all their numbers to ring them. I'm thinking about putting an ad on Gumtree, thinking about just going on spare room and arranging viewings of some landlord's houses for rooms and then offer them guaranteed rent while I'm there. I'm thinking about putting an ad on Facebook. Join requests. I can't join. I've got to wait for somebody to accept me. Oh man, I'm struggling there. Are you buying breakfast? I don't like English sausages. I'm beginning to um, get a little bit stressed. I don't know the town, I don't know the agents, so I know where to start. We're gonna start with agents, but which one? And um, yeah, it's a bit tougher than I thought it'd be. I've just found a house on Gumtree. My name's Kevin, I've seen um, the ad for the two bed bedroom flat in Tuxwood available for yes. sale. I was wondering if it's still available. Yes, it is, yes. Would it be possible to arrange a viewing? Should we say maybe 12 o'clock? Get in! He's going to be talking to me forever. I was, I was just going to say, stick it in this. I'll stick it in the sat now, but let somebody talk if they want to talk. The problem is, I don't have a while. I need to do the deal quickly. Sounds like Peter could be somebody. Keith, even, I called him Peter. I called him Peter. Distress, I called him Peter. It's Keith. It's quarter past nine, but I've got one viewing in the bag for a private sale house. If I've got any chance of getting a viewing with an agent, I need to book the viewings now. So I think we should do some view agents. In person. Have a chat. View in person, then ring a few. I'll go in here first. Will I just go then? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna we've got three or four agents. I'm in. It's Kevin. Nice um just having a look really about well a couple of things. Yep. One is do you do corporate lets? So we're not in there because he's gotta be a new investor and if he's got a bunch of cameramen following around. That's just going to give the game away. And one or two bed apartments or else a sort of four-ish bed house would be ideal. But I'd like to try and view stuff today if I could. Right, okay. Um, I would look to see if there was yeah. anything. Would a similar thing work with them where we could go in and refurbish it for them? It's definitely worth speaking to them and see if it's something If you could, them. that would be great, yeah. First agent's done. Two potential assisted sale deals. She's going to ring me back. An assisted sale is where we can secure a purchase price today. We'd go in and refurbish the property and then sell it on later without ever buying the house. I would call that a positive meeting in the first agents. I've got a viewing at 12 o'clock. I've got half 10 viewing at 12 o'clock. I've got 90 minutes to get another couple of viewings. I was wondering if you have any landlords that would be open to long-term corporate lets. Kevin's in agent number two, trying to figure out some deals. Things are sounding surprisingly good. Okay, that looks really, that looks ideal to be honest. That is a really nice property actually. Five potential deals. Yeah. One of them, is a five bedroom house, 1250 a month rent. I've just offered 1100. Right. She seemed really positive, thought the landlord very interested. Um, I love the floor plan because 
it's got five bedrooms, but it's also got the potential of two extras. It's got seven. Really good opportunity. But there's also four others that she, she's just said to me, the landlords are open to corporate lets on. She's speaking to the landlord right now. She's gonna give me a call, let me know if it's done or not. She's happy with the offer. Let's see what happens. Mm. None of our landlords are gonna be interested in that. Okay. That was a disaster. I explained what we did and he basically just said none of our landlords will be open to that. But I think he kind of knew at that point that I was um, blagging it slightly because I, I didn't know my area well enough. I think he thought he understood rent to rent but he didn't understand the actual benefits of rent to rent to him or to his landlords and didn't really want to listen. Is that common? Um, it can be. So I always say one in 10, you can't get every agent. We've been to a few, there's only one that said no so far, but it winds me up when they still say no. I'm not moving quick enough. It's 11 o'clock, I've only got the one viewing booked in, one offer in, agents close in six hours, so I'm gonna go back to just ringing them. I don't have time to walk the streets and speak to them. They'll, I need something quite urgently, so would you have anything with the landlord so they're looking for a quick sale? Yeah, I can't sort of think of anything we've got. That was a disaster. This man is stressing. It's real life, baby, this is how it is. Um, we need to make a move, we've got viewing at 12 o'clock. Gotta go. Oh, oh, oh. This is one. Yeah, um, I've just seen your advert online. I'm just calling to get a bit more information on how this rent to own works. Basically, looking for people who we're trying to help get on the property ladder. So anyone who really wants to own a home, but is currently, say, struggling to get a mortgage or maybe don't have a big enough deposit. So we're a company that helps them get started on the property ladder. Because what you do is you rent the home today, but buy it over a period of time. You're looking generally around 3% of the purchase price as a deposit, where, where banks generally look for 10%. Yes. Okay, so I mean, if we were to find something where 2K would get you in, would that, would that work for you? In the next couple of weeks, yes. In the next couple of weeks, that'd be fine, okay. Okay, right, so now I've got a pot of two to three grand that I can put down on a house that I know that I've got in my pocket from a potential tenant buyer. We are in the game. It's a great result, Kevin, but you need to be in a viewing in five minutes. Yeah, I know, but I gotta write this guy's number down before I forget it, and then we can run to the car. I know I'm already late, let's go. I've got two to three grand. I'm meeting Keith. Not Peter. No, not Peter. I called him Peter, didn't I? Or is it Keith? Here we go. Hold on. Oh, geez, that's my car. You're driving around on that. We are four minutes late to my first viewing of the day, and I've got a rule of thumb. Never, ever, ever be late to a viewing. How are you supposed to to show somebody that they can rely on you, they can trust you, when you can't even be able to make it on time. I blame the driver. One of the things I do is, I'm actually an investor, um, but we, we are not like most investors in terms of we don't have tenants. No. What we have is what we call tenant buyers. 170 you're looking for, they pay the 170, they paid in three years time, but they'd pay, say, three grand up front, four grand up front, but there'd be no letting agent fees, no maintenance costs. I think I really want to go another two or three years right. down that road again. No. <laughs> I had really good hopes for that. Um, here's the challenge, right? That didn't actually go that bad. The problem is, he said himself, if we had been here last year, it would have been a yes. He's gonna ring me in about two or three months time saying he's still interested. The problem is, I've got to get a deal today. They've just shoved my spare room account down for one message. Just based on the um, messages for which you have sent, yeah. um, we would be unable to open your account up. So the fact that I've been with spare room for about 15 years and never did this, never like did that wrong before is irrelevant. Yeah, it's, it's sort of Excellent. in a case of, I mean, you could not do anything wrong and have a criminal record, but then you go and do something pretty bad, you would still be arrested. Type I know, thing. I didn't murder it's, anybody, uh, but I get works, it. Unfortunately. Yeah. <sighs> Kevin, how confident out of 10 do you feel 
you can get a deal done. Minus one. This'll do. Nobody's getting back to me. I've got loads of positive replies, but nobody's actually getting back to me with a deal. Um, not feeling confident right now. Would you have any landlords or homeowners that may be open to agreeing a purchase price on their house, but letting somebody rent it initially and then buy later? No, we haven't really got any properties like that at the moment. Yeah, it's not something that we do, unfortunately. Um, I doubt it. Is this the most stressed you've ever been in your life? Yeah. <laughs> do I need to view to make an offer on it, or would you...? Yes, you do need to right. view. Would the landlord be willing to take a yes subject to viewing? Yeah. We have to have view, unfortunately. Right. I'm wondering if you've got any landlords that may be open to a long-term corporate let. Yeah, I mean, there's not a great deal that wouldn't be, to be honest. It's more guaranteed than normal rentals. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, the landlord would be definitely open to a long-term let. No problem whatsoever. Oh no, sorry, you have to view. We can't take any offers without a viewing. And we can't let you view till Friday. It's Monday and I've got till five o'clock, not till Friday. It's like up, down, up, down. Is there any possibility of having anything where I could actually view today? Unfortunately not. Um... The biggest challenge isn't finding a tenant buyer. The biggest challenge isn't finding a tenant. The biggest challenge isn't even finding a house. The biggest challenge is you've given me a day. Need the phone to ring on some of these that we offered on. Mr. Call. Right, give me a second. Ring back. Ah. Hi, I just got a missed call. Oh yes, yeah, is that Kevin? Yes, yeah, speaking. Hi, Ed. What, um, 30 apartments coming on this week. We're just getting to the top of over this week. 13 apartments? Know. Yes. Right. That sounds really, really, really good to be honest. Um, generally what we do is we look after all of the maintenance and the management. So you would be signed a contract and you would pay the rent directly to us? Yes, yeah. It's something that we would potentially be open to working on. Yeah, exactly. So, Brilliant. Um, shall I give you my email address? Yes, please. Yeah, that's great. Get in! 4.48 in the evening, towards the end of the day, and finally, we've got a yes. 13 apartments directly from a developer. The developer is open to corporate lets. The agent's open to corporate lets. She just wants me to send the contract through. She's happy to review the contract. And I've got something else. Hang on. It's a verification call about the minor car accident that you had in the past. I hope you remember that. I know. Thank you for calling. I, that was really quick. Um, the accident was only about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> we got more. They're coming through now. So where are we going right now, Kevin? We're going to view a property. Diane, who lives in this three bedroom property, is really open to selling her house, but where she can rent it initially and sell it over a period of time. I'm interested in the rental, and I've got another tenant buyer. Give me a second, let me ring him now. Hiya, I've just had your text about the interested in the rent to own program. Um, do you mind me asking what you do, Natasha, for a living? Yeah, I work in a shop and my partner um, catches chickens. Oh wow, okay. So like what we'd be looking at say, is if we were looking at a sort of a 200 grand property, we'd be looking at sort of six grand. Um, okay. Is that something that sounds reasonable? Yeah, thank you very right. much. Another person with at least six grand ready to go as a tenant buyer. Six grand's enough. We've got a potential tenant buyer there. That's three tenant buyers today, just from one ad. I'm the owner, yeah. You're the owner. Okay, excellent, right. I've got a viewing now at 5.30, so I could do any time after that, to be honest. Okay, do it at uh, 6 o'clock. Sorry, can we do 6.30, sorry? Would that be okay for you? Okay, 6.30. Brilliant, cheers, thank you. I've just missed a voicemail again. They're all coming in now. Listen, new message. Hi, I'm message for Kevin. This is Alex. Give me a call when you get the message. Hi, Alex. We seem to keep missing you, yeah. The flats I have in mind... It's quite a bit tricky because we have loads. Um, you got loads. Would he be open, the developer, to a long-term rental then? Yes, yes, hundred percent. Hundred percent. If they want a two-year, three-year lease, five-year lease, I can do that. Oh, brilliant! That would be awesome. So we could get a three to five-year lease on one of the flats. We could do a purchase later as well. Hundred percent. We've got another deal. There's a deal done. Three to five years secured. Alex, I love you. 
we have still got another viewing to get another deal. I'm not giving up yet. Oh, we've got two viewings booked in now. I forgot the calls are coming in so quick and I'm still waiting for some callbacks from other agents as well. Hey, are you ready, Kevin? Ready. That dog's got a big stick. He does have a big stick. Hi. Hi. <laughs> That's a big stick. We started at six o'clock this morning. It is quarter past seven in the evening. That's just over 12 hours to secure the deals. One for 13 apartments, one for one property. I'm shattered, I'm done. Boys, let's go home. Hi everyone, it's been several weeks since the No Money Down Challenge. And today I'm back in my own area, checking on one of my refurb projects. So we shared a video of the challenge on our progressive Facebook community and we've had an absolutely crazy reaction. Because of this, I've been inspired by you to do something brand new. If you're lucky enough to be watching this video in the first few days since the challenge, then you can join me in our Facebook group. There's a link down below where you can get involved in the first ever seven day no money down challenge. I will be sharing live daily videos, Q and A's, interviews with experts and with some of my students and daily action plans to help you get a no money down deal in seven days. There is going to be amazing prizes, offers and rewards for everyone who takes part in the seven day no money down challenge. If you want to be a part of the challenge, then join the Progressive Property Facebook community now. There's a link below this video for how you can join. Even if you're not watching this video fresh, go join the Progressive Property community now where you can network with thousands of other property investors. Remember, you might have missed this challenge, but make sure you're there and ready for the next one. Go now and join the Progressive Property community and take part in the first ever seven day no money down challenge. You've seen what I could do in a day. How much can you do in a week?